So it seems that Hello Kitty is not a cat. According to Christine R. Yano, an anthropologist from the University of Hawaii and a visiting professor at Harvard, as she quotes the owner of the Hello Kitty property, she says, Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's a cartoon character. She is a little girl. She is a friend. But she is not a cat. She's never been depicted in all fours. She walks and sits like a two-legged creature. She does have a pet cat of her own, however, and it's called Charmy Kitty. Well, that makes sense. Hello Kitty is apparently not a cat. Christine goes on to give other explanations. She's from London. She's a third grader. She can play the electric guitar. And she can do all these cool things that cats just don't do. But here's the thing. The statement is about 20% correct. Hell Kitty is a cartoon, but she's a cartoon of a cat, regardless of what the owner of the property might say as to it being otherwise. The reason why I make the argument is because of a bit of literary theory coming from French critic Roland Barthes, who argues for the death of the author. This theory argues that the notion of incorporating authorial intentions into the reading of a text is incorrect, that it shouldn't matter what the author says. It argues that the text and the creator are unrelated when the reader is making meaning of what's written in the text. Now the thing is that this is true not just of poetry. A poem can mean many different things to many different people, of course, but it is also true of visual images. It is also true of interactive texts. It is also true of video games, and it is most certainly true of Hello Kitty. You see, here's the thing. When the viewer looks at Hello Kitty, whether it's a drawing or in a movie or the stuffed doll, they see the drawing of a cat, the plushie of a cat. And sure, it's a cat girl and it's a cartoon cat girl or whatever other modifiers you want to add to it. But in the end, it's a cat. It has cat ears. It has cat fur. Its color is inhuman white. Let's call it cat white. And it has whiskers. And yes, it does things like walk around and go to school and play guitar. And it has a pet. But hey, Mickey Mouse is a mouse and he walks around and he talks and he has a pet. Sonic the Hedgehog is a hedgehog. He walks around and he talks and he runs real fast. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? They do martial arts, they eat pizza, they play video games. They have a pet rat or a master rat or whatever Splinter is supposed to be, depending on what version you're looking at. And hey, Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit has a job and a house and a wife and he's still a rabbit. So what makes Miss Kitty White any different? That the author said so? Remember that it doesn't really matter what the author says. What matters is what you perceive of the text. Or let's call it object if you prefer. And as far as I'm concerned and as far as everyone I'm sure is concerned, Hello Kitty is a cat. Then again, I am a grown adult male. Clearly not the target demographic for Hello Kitty. So let me just go ahead and ask, I don't know, my son, he's a kid, he should know better. Hey, come here, I'm gonna ask you a question. What's that? A cat and it has a bonnet, so a cat and a girl.